Only 1% of AI students know this project and you've got to build it today. If you're new, I'm Dev. I've helped thousands of students land jobs and I myself have gotten into companies like Amazon and Google. Okay, the project is called a Graph Neural Network or GNN for short. And these are totally different from the typical kind of neural network like this one. But here's the thing. Most people who try to build a GNN get it completely wrong, which is why most people's projects never stand out. I'll show you how to build this step by step later in the video. But first, let's talk about why a GNN project is such a hidden gem. Now, what even is a GNN? Imagine you're working with images, an image detection model works pixel by pixel. For text, an LLM works word by word. But what if your data isn't a grid or a sequence? What if it's something completely different like a network? Maybe a social network where friends are connected to friends. Maybe a molecule where atoms are connected by chemical bonds. Or even a recommendation system where users are connected to suggested products. That's where GNNs or graph neural networks come in. I mean, they're built to understand relationships. Instead of just saying, here's data point A and here's data point B. These models ask, how do A and B connect and what happens when we look at the entire web? It sounds abstract, but stay with me because that's exactly why GNNs are so powerful. And later on in the video, I'll give you the exact beginner friendly steps to code one yourself, including a Python library that will make this way easier than you would expect. Now, before we get there, why is this such a special project compared to the endless chatbot tutorials on YouTube? Well, most students build the same three projects. Image classifiers, handwritten digit detectors, and of course, chatbots. They're fine, but they're also everywhere. Here's the fundamental difference. A GNN project signals to a recruiter that you're operating on a completely different level. You're tackling complex data structures that 99% of students never even touch. But... Standing out isn't just about what you build. It's also about how you present it on your portfolio. And sadly, this is where most students fail badly. I'll tell you a quick story. One of my students, let's call him John, built a fantastic GNN project. On paper, it was miles better than the typical chatbot project. But here's the twist. He kept getting ghosted by recruiters. No interviews. Why? Because he made the same mistake almost everyone makes. He treated the project like a checkbox. He wrote on his resume, Built a graph neural network for molecular classification. End of bullet point. Recruiters don't give a damn about that. Not because the project isn't good, the project is great. The real issue is that John was relying on a normal resume to get him an offer. But these days, recruiters care more about your second invisible resume. Let me explain. We're entering what experts are calling the invisible hiring era. The best jobs, they're not on LinkedIn and they're not on job boards. The jobs you see online are basically the leftovers. So how how do the top students even land the best offers? It's simple. Companies come to them. Their projects are visible in the right way. On their GitHub account, on their LinkedIn, in communities where recruiters and hiring managers are already lurking around. John's project was strong, but it was completely invisible. Once we worked on how he presented it, writing a killer readme, making his repo beginner friendly, even a LinkedIn post breaking down how GNNs apply to drug discovery, recruiters started reaching out to him. And remember, the project didn't change. What changed was his second invisible resume. By the way, if you want to go deeper into projects like this, projects that actually get you interviews and offers, that's exactly what I help students with. I'll leave a link in the description, but let's keep going. Because now is the time for what you've been waiting for. How to actually build this damn thing. And don't worry, it's going to be way more approachable than it sounds. Step one is to install PyTorch Geometric. This is a library built on top of PyTorch that will handle all the ugly math for you. Literally, pip install PyTorch Geometric. That's it. Step two, choose a data set. Start simple and the core data set is a classic beginner one. It's a network of research papers. Nodes are papers and edges are citations. The task is to classify research papers into buckets of similar topics. Step three is to build a base model. With PyTorch Geometric, you can import all the layers you need to build your GNN. Step four is to train and evaluate. Split your graph into training and testing sets, run for a few epochs, and watch the accuracy and improve. Step five is to polish and present. This is where you build your second invisible resume. Don't just stop it. My model works. Add visualizations and graphs, write a clear readme, and show how this could extend to something real like drug molecules or fraud detection. Now, this isn't going to make you an expert in GNNs overnight, but here's the real secret. Even a simple GNN project puts you ahead of 99% of students. And the step-by-step -step guide I just gave you is proof that it's not that complicated, but only if you actually take action today. Now, you have the project idea and the roadmap, but one question remains. How do you turn this project into interviews and offers? 
That's where most students trip up. They build, but they don't showcase. So the next video I recommend you watch is this one right here. It'll show you how to get recruiters to chase you instead of the other way around. Click here and I'll see you in that video.